found it. Is the human service. <coughs> That's on it. Looks like we're live on YouTube, so we're ready to go. Yes. All just, right. It is 3.32, and time we start the Human Services Committee meeting. Call it to order with a roll call. Commissioner Foster. Here. Commissioner Hubby Wright. Here. Chairman Hughes. Here. Commissioner Laring. Here. Commissioner Mahoney. Here. Commissioner Skolnick. Here. Commissioner Snyder. Here. Commissioner Wilkins. Commissioner Wilkins, are you muted? She's muted. Well, I know she's here. Commissioner Nash. Here. All present. All right. Uh, next up is approval minutes for August 6, 2020. So move. Second. It's been moved and supported. Any discussion? Any corrections? Seeing none. All those in favor, use the vote of saying aye. 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 All those opposed. And that motion passes. Next up is public comment on an agenda item. Is there anyone in the public that would like to have a comment on an agenda item? I see a hand from Pastor you Tim Croft. Hello, folks. Uh, I guess I'm back to the senior millage and how that uh, how that's uh, appropriately going to be spent. You know, I want to go back to less than a year ago. We were working on snow removal and lawn care, which we launched, and we, we took that over. You guys recruited us to do that. You needed somebody in the community to do that. From what I understand, you know, we put together a proposal for uh, this next year, and if I understand right from Commissioner Foster that that went to senior resources, who seems to have their pulse on the needs of the seniors in our community, and they recommended it for full funding, complete funding uh, for both programs. And then by the time it went to the committee, we went from full funding to about 30% and the snow removal went down to $15,000 to which Commissioner Wilkins said, that's nothing, you can't do anything with that. Now, I don't know if, uh, you know, and I know that uh, I think Senator, or Commissioner Schneider said he didn't want to micromanage things. He found out there's $2 million sitting in an account that hasn't been spent if you're not going to redo that budget or the recommendations, uh, I would encourage you, if, if you guys want to see us to continue to do this, that you tap into that uh, two million on the program that you guys recruited me to do last year. Thank you, Pastor Cross. Um, all those comments will definitely be taken in consideration. And I think maybe the agenda will show that as we move forward. Um, we had another hand from an iPhone. Yes, me. Who are we speaking with? Can you state your name? My name is Sonia Patterson. I'm the treasurer for Ravenna Township. Okay. I'm just calling um, in regards to Ravenna Township's um, allocated funds for our meal program. Um, that We have been doing it more than once a month due to the COVID restrictions and the nail care thing being set aside because of salons being closed. So we have been doing um, probably two a month up curbside where people could come and, and continue to pick them up. And we have a senior coordinator who works very hard for Ravenna Township, taking really good care of our seniors. And I would just like for our meal program to really be considered to keep as it really has benefited. We, we serve about 50 people when they actually come to the meal and we've been serving about 90 curbside. I just paid a bill today for 95 people and we had a curbside pickup meal today. So it's something that's went over really well. Um, our transportation grant, um, they go about twice a week or I'm sorry, twice a month taking senior citizens to um, Muske the Muskegon area where they could shop a little bit cheaper and go to like Myers and Walmart. 
Um, we've also picked up some Muskegon area people that um, Walmart used to pick up but no longer picks up. Um, so we've helped out that way too. And um, um, our nail care thing, we have just really been able to kind of get that up and going because of the COVID restrictions. So I'm just asking that Ravenna be able to keep the funds that we've had in the past. Thank you very much for your comment. And we will take those into consideration as we move forward. Next up is Prosecutor DJ Hilson. Commissioner Nash. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, it's Lisa Tyler. I don't I don't have the hand raising button on my computer, so I apologize. Oh, Do I, okay. can I speak to public comment really quickly? Go right ahead. Okay, thank you so much. Um, so under um, you have a couple of items for consideration that really have um, um, under new business, um, as Pastor Cross referenced, you have previous years carryover millage, um, and then um, something about a grant for senior resources. So just real quickly, um, I'm Lisa Tyler, I'm the communications director at Senior Resources, by the way. Now that we are aware of the amount of the Muskegon County Senior Millage funding unspent from previous years, Senior Resources strongly recommends that the funding be spread out proportionally over the remaining years of the senior millage so that additional services and programs for older adults are available and that that would be some additional money available for each of those years. And further, we agree with the comments that we've heard from the commissioner in the past that the grants administrator should not be receiving a grant. As the only organization administering in-home services for seniors in Muskegon County, we would recommend an allocation to administer in-home services. The allocation could be a board designated amount or percentage that was appropriated for in-home services and coordination. As a reminder, senior resources only administers those funds. We do not directly provide any of those services. And currently there are more than 200 older adults who are receiving those services, which were identified as a priority need in the gaps analysis that was conducted a couple of years ago. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. We will take those comments in consideration. Next up is Prosecutor D.J. Hilsey. Thank you, Commissioner Nash. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank the commission for having that work session a few weeks ago. It was very enlightening. Uh, to me, the biggest biggest highlight of that, uh, one of the biggest highlights was the fact that that fund balance was well over $2 million. And to Pastor Cross's comments, I think it, it certainly, uh, I think the commissioners recognize that there are programs out there that are underfunded, or not funded at all that need to be considered. Uh, whether the commissioners decide to allocate monies or you know, essentially ask uh, the advisory committee to start from scratch and, and redo the whole project, I'll leave that to your discretion. But you know, certainly, um, it, 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 to me, it was, it was an eye-opening experience, or I guess, revelation to see that. Uh, and, the other thing too I'd ask the commissioners to really take a hard look at is the makeup of the advisory committee itself. And, and, and certainly I, I appreciate uh, the folks that have dedicated their time to be a part of that, uh, commissioners included, but I'll, I'll speak from my own personal experience. When we asked for funds uh, early 2020 for the Safe Seniors Task Force, uh, the, the vote passed by a three to two margin and it's because one, they didn't have a full committee, and two, there were there are a few abstentions. Uh, that doesn't give an organization a fair shot if you've got members that have to abstain because of conflicts of interest. Uh, that, to me, uh, it is really sort of an injustice to folks who are trying to uh, get money to, to serve seniors in our community. So I'd ask the commissioners to really take a hard look at the makeup of that committee. Certainly the commissioners uh, I think are a valuable asset to that community. They should remain, but the, the rest of the makeup of, of that advisory committee should be folks that don't really have a stake in where that senior money is going to go. Because again, we who apply for it deserve a full committee vote on whether or not our program is viable or not. And both times I did not, I did not receive that. So those are my comments and I appreciate the time. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Prosecutor. I think those comments will be taken in uh, in our in our communication deliberations. Next up is Christopher Cross. Hello, thank you for uh, acknowledging me. I was uh, with Living Word Church, the Snore Move and Long Care Program. Uh, I just wanted to bring up two things. Uh, I really appreciate uh, that 
the commission has decided to look into this more to uh, possibly change the funding. But I just did want to bring to uh, consideration when we uh, applied for the lawn care service for uh, this past fiscal year, um, this was new to us, um, new to applying for grants. And so we didn't take in consideration the fiscal year ending at the end of September. And looking at the funds that were awarded that this last year, um, we will still have for the long care about five, just over $5,000, which will allow us, we were budgeting that for the long care to go to the end of October, not the end of September. So I do understand that in order for that, uh, those funds to be accessed, we uh, wouldn't be able to use them in October unless it's approved for the upcoming fiscal year. So I would uh, request the commission consider that again, it's $5,000 that was already awarded, but we would not use at the end of September when the fiscal year is done based on the 50 seniors we currently serve. Um, I just wish to um, bring that forward as well as um, when looking at the budget, if the commission would like to know that we can serve the same amount of seniors uh, as we did last year in the snow removal program, which we serve 78. Um, that amount, if you wish to know, would be about $62,400 if you're looking at different amounts. Um, if we don't ever, uh, if you don't choose to fund the full amount, I just want to make sure that they know that you know that the, all the seniors we served last year, that is the amount that would cover all those seniors. But I really appreciate you taking a moment to listen. All right. Thank you for those comments, and we will take those into consideration. Uh, is there anyone else? I don't see any other hands. Anyone that could not raise their hand? If not, Mark, do you see anyone? No, sir, I do not. All right. So we'll move forward with items for consideration. First up is HS 2009-21 to authorize the county purchasing department to request proposals from qualified individuals or businesses and organizations for senior millage grant administrative services. So move. Support. Then moved by Commissioner Foster, supported by Commissioner Snyder. Any questions or discussions on this? Commissioner Nash. Commissioner Mahoney. I have a couple, well, one question in particular, uh, we had mentioned before there's, their current contract would allow us to just continue senior resources for another cycle uh, rather than to go through the process of opening up for bids again. The last time, as I recall, they were the only ones that bid anyway. Um, I'm not sure there's any other organization that's qualified to do that out there. Uh, I would suggest we simply roll it over for another year or whatever their current contract is rather than to go through the whole bid process. Okay. Any other discussion? Was that actually a motion, Ken? No, I'm just making a suggestion that there's a possibility of just rolling it over. We already have a motion on the floor. Okay. All right, Mr. Chair. I'll, I'll, well, go ahead. Who, who's next? Uh, I think me, Marsha. Right here, Marsha. Um, uh, it's Marsha. Um, Ms. Tyler uh, spoke for uh, senior resources uh, earlier during public comment and uh, mentioned the word allocation um, instead of grant for so the, some of the services that, uh, that they provide. Um, and if and if we were to switch to that, and I know that has to go through a whole process, but um, then we wouldn't have that conflict of, uh, we wouldn't be violating our uh, uh, rules uh, and wouldn't need this RFP. Uh, but I don't have any problem with passing this anyway, um, but it does seem like if we were to go with that, we wouldn't need to do the uh, RFP for another provider and another provider wouldn't have to go through all the process of um, analyzing and figuring out how to do it. If there is something. All right, anyone else? Um, I'll just comment on this because I, I, 
I believe that when we had the board meeting, we had a consensus on this is the direction we wanted to go. And I think as we see, we move forward with the other items that uh, we're trying to move in this direction. Um, I did appreciate the comment from Ms. Tyler that uh, they do not want to have any conflicts. And I think what we heard from the director last time was that uh, if they would have to make a choice, they would prefer to be the grant recipient uh, versus the uh, administrator. And from what I was told through uh, the pre-meeting that there is some interest from other organizations that may be interested in being the administrator. So uh, with that, I think we might be moving in the right direction here, uh, but we'll see as this RFP is uh, responded to. Can I just clarify a point, uh, Mr. Chair? Yes. Yes. Um, so if, if senior resources were to get an allocation instead of a grant for the services, they, the in-home services and Medicare, Medicare, et cetera, then it would not be violating our, our rules. And we wouldn't have to lose the, the organization that, or potentially lose the organization that has, has provided this service and done it very well. There, I have the utmost respect for senior resources. Uh, so this, this, this number 21 is meant to address that conflict with our rules. But if they were given an allocation instead of a grant, then it wouldn't. The, it's the language, it's, you know, but we'd have to work that through the system. And, and the timing of that, I'm not really sure of actually. You understand any what other, I mean? Any other comments? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, roll call, Madam Clerk. Mr. Snyder. No. Commissioner Wilkins. Yes. Commissioner Foster. Yes. Commissioner Hubby Wright. No. Chairman Hughes. Yes. Commissioner Laring. Yes. Commissioner Mahoney. Uh, no. Commissioner Skolnick. You're muted, Commissioner Skolnick. Yes. Thank you. Commissioner Nash. Yes. Six yes, three no. All right, that motion passes. Next up. Item HS2009-22 to approve a partial three month fiscal year senior millage funding award to senior resources for continuation of the medical, Medicare, Medicaid assistance program, M home care and supports coordination grant activities through December 31st, 2020. So and supported by Mahoney. All right, so it's been moved and supported. Any discussion on this? Commissioner Nash, I have a, I have a question on this. Go right ahead. Uh, my only question about this is, are we approving this over the top of the snow plowing and grass cutting that the seniors had last year so that they won't be receiving that they'll be receiving uh, are we and are we taking millage money to do something that was already being done before actually That's my concern. yeah this is um, somewhat confusing because the language in here is about administration and the motion is more about the allocation. So I'm kind of trying to figure why we have that mixture. This is Kathy Moore. Moore. I'll, I'll look at this now. I, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't read it. The, um, the motion is definitely um, about the grant award for fiscal year 21. Um, Okay, so so this what is we, what we discussed about doing with this was trying to 
prorate their portion of it to December 31st so that it still coincide with them continuing services as is. And this would give us time to be able to figure out whether we're going to be able to have a new administrator. That way, if we continue with their services after December 31st, we could do that directly with a new administrator and we wouldn't have to worry about having a conflict. Um, so I guess we're just looking at trying to keep it as is up until December 31st and then have our changes made before January 1st if possible. So that way there will not be a conflict. Um, but I think what's happening is, is it's just a little bit confusing because of the, the way the language is at the top versus the motion. Right, and I'll, I'll explain that. So the, the sentence at the top was just a reiteration that the millage grants contract was extended through December 31st. And then the second sentence is just saying, because, because the grants administration contract was extended through December 31st, we are asking that the grant awards uh, be awarded through December 31st as we work on the RFP, clarifying the roles and documenting the guidelines so that January 1st will be um, under the new system. And Kathy, it take, um, Mr. Chair, it yes, takes to, to the year 21. I think that that's the, the real point there. It's not 20, it'll be 21, which is next year. So it all be incorporated in it. No, 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 no. That's no. that's what they're doing is is remember we what the language is saying at the top is that remember we voted to keep it senior resources as the current administrator until December 31st, while mm -hmm. this RFP that we just voted on goes out so that we can get those proposals back, evaluate them, and try to get a new administrator established by January 1st if we're able to find one. So what this motion is doing is just con continuing the grants that we've offered them before up until that time. Then that way, if we do have a new administrator, they can continue with their grants without having a conflict of interest. And if we end up not having it, then we might just have to extend all of this together anyway. But just until that time, that way we wouldn't be, it's kind of like keeping us, uh, finding a way to make sure that we're doing everything right on January 1st without having these conflicts. So we're just extending it until the 31st so we can figure out how to move forward without having that type of conflict. So it's just prorated and it's only until December 31st. And then if we do have a new administrator, we would probably extend these same grants to them without having a conflict for the rest of 21. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Hubby Wright. Chair, yeah, uh, just like to clarify for Susie, um, the snow removal issue is totally separate from this. Yes, um, everything we else is. That, we can address that with the money left over um, from, from this year. So uh, it's not taking the money away from that. Yes. And, and, I, I and we will have to make a, a, a decision that after things get resolved about who the administrator is, we will have to make a decision about funding the programs under 22 for 2021. I mean, the, the, uh, the rest of the uh, grant year, we'll have to uh, make sure that that gets funded because those I'm, are essential my, programs. Thank, thank you, Marcia. Uh, yeah. Charles, I do have another question if I could. Go right ahead, please. I, I'm, my concern is that we don't know a total amount for this. There's several things. There's several amounts in here, but the motion doesn't actually have any amounts. So I'd like to see an amount in there so that we don't. There's no confusion about exactly what we're doing. It was three hundred thirty-two, okay. I think. But I she put she put the numbers in the upper language. Yeah, that you right. See but that's not. But that's not in the motion. And if it's not in the motion, it's just it's it's really worthless. It should be 337,400. What she did is she prorated it for the three months. Right. And if you look, so, it says approval for the partial three month for the fiscal year 21. So 
it's up That's until right. December 31st, which is a three month prorate. So there's 300 and some thousand that. dollars in this, in this motion? No, a quarter of that. Okay. Yeah. They're only, so they're only it, doing it up for the first three months. Okay. Cause it says in the amount of $5,600, um, $16,250 and $62,500. Is that per month or is that for the total, total between now and December 31st? This I believe is the prorated, prorated amount for the three months. For the whole three months. Yes. Could I request that the total amount be put in the motion? Sixty-two. If you look, it, you say propose one quarter of the recommended twenty-one funded be awarded to senior resources for that service in the amount of that amount. Yes. And if we want, we could just add that language to the motion. I would like that, please. Uh, who's the motion maker? That would be more the chairman. Yeah. Uh, are you okay with that? I'm absolutely perfect with that. Actually, it sounds really good. All right. What about the support? That was me. I'm fine with that. Okay. Mr. So Chair, we'll just take that. Yes, go right ahead, Commissioner Lair. So my question is, initially, this whole motion started, uh, This we were looking at this to try to alleviate the, the problem with uh, uh, senior resources being a grant administrator and a grant grantee. Correct. Um, and yet, if I understand this language right, then through December, they will be a grant recipient and a grant administrator up until December. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Chairman, can I make a yes, comment? Yes, sir. Um, Mr. Sconey. Here's, here's my overall view of this whole thing. Um, this grant, they are we are giving them approximately $336,000 to provide services. I have no doubt the services are needed. But this in-home care, for example, I'm just using that as, as one part of this. You could use the whole $2 million on in-home care and still not make a dent in, in what needs to be done. Um, my, you know, my thought about the senior millage was to provide some additional programs and services for the community, such as the snow plowing or lawn cutting, that sort of thing that did not exist before. Because there, there is no end to how much money you could spend on home care or some of these programs that are provided by Medicare and Medicaid. And it's just, it's impossible. I don't, I don't know that the uh, when people voted for this, they didn't think we we're just going to expand programs that already existed, but thought we would get some new program, you know, some new benefits for seniors. Anyway, that's my comment. We have some of both, Bob. Um, I, know, I understand a that. Lot of this, a this lot of the a, grants were for continued or expanded services, but a lot are for new ones too. So it's not that we're not providing new services. Okay, last, just the last comment though. But I mean, you're spending a quarter of a million dollars, uh, 62 five times four is $250,000 on in-home care of which there's already millions and millions and millions of dollars being spent on that. So, you know, I don't know, it just doesn't seem fair. But anyway, I'm done, thank you. Any other comments? What's not fair about it? Uh, we'll move forward with a vote. Roll call, Madam Clerk. Commissioner Wilkins. Yes. Commissioner Foster. Yes. Commissioner Hobby Wright. Yes. Chairman Hughes. No. Commissioner Laring. No. Commissioner Mahoney. Yes. Commissioner Skolnick. No. Commissioner Snyder. No. Commissioner Nash. Yes. Five yes, four no. That motion passes. And our next item. Uh, next, uh, due to the motion that we just made, we have a 
old business item tabled. Um, I think I would accept a motion to remove that from the table and. Uh, so moved. Support. Motion to remove from the table, 17. All right, it's been moved and supported to remove that from the table. Again, due to this motion, this is the original motion that we had. Um, I would suggest that we just uh, bypass this uh, motion and go with the one that we just did because otherwise we're gonna be conflicting with what we just did. I will make a motion that we leave this one alone and just go with what we had before if we have to make a motion. I don't know that we do. I think we could just ignore it, but if we have to, I will make that motion. Yeah, I'd suggest we remove it from the agenda. Oh, good idea. I couldn't remember what to do with that. I I'll get commission. I think we remove it from the agenda. That was my motion to remove it. Well, we had to bring it back first. We had to bring I'm, it back. Yeah. You guys brought it back. Right. So that motion was made to bring it back. And Listen. so now there's a motion to remove this from the agenda. Mr. Chair, if you remove it from the agenda, does that does that mean it can come back again? No, we're yeah. we're doing yes, away it, with it. It can come back again. We could vote we it to come. We, that would be the other thing we could do. But it wouldn't automatically come back again. No. It was removed for two weeks or whatever we did. Uh, it's my understanding. So it won't come back automatically. Well, I mean I tell you what, me. this is what we'll do. We'll just move to not approve the motion. Yeah, that's the best thing. And then it can come back if somebody wants to. Are you guys okay with that friendly amendment? I'm Marshall fine with and, and whatever. Stussy. You know, yeah, I whatever. don't think, we'll can find. you make a negative motion though? I yeah, we've know. done it before. Okay, just all right. Make a motion to deny or to. Uh, so the motion is to not approve this not approve. motion. So I will re I will withdraw my motion to remove the item. And no, 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 oh, no, no, no. All we're doing is making a friendly amendment to the motion. Instead of move to approve, we move to not approve. I move to not approve. Commissioner Hughes, you okay with that? You bet. All right. So the motion is to move to not approve. Uh, roll call, Madam Clerk. Commissioner Foster. So can I ask a question, Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, I brought it up late. So by removing this, are we taking out the motions for the senior mills and the snow plowing right off the table? No. No, this is this is what we case, just voted on, what we just voted on previously was one third of this motion. Okay, I'm so, good, Mr. Chairman. Then yes. Okay. Commissioner Javi Ray. Yes. That's to not approve. Correct. Correct. Chairman Hughes. Yes. Commissioner Larry. Pass. Commissioner Mahoney. Uh, yes. Commissioner Skolnick. So yes means no. Is that correct? Yeah. Correct. Correct. Commissioner Snyder. Yes, but understanding that it means no, which is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Wilkins. Yes, and that means a no. <laughs> Commissioner Laring. Well, I don't know what the heck to do because this is crazy. So, and I suppose I have to vote. I called another commissioner out on that. I don't know what to do with yes meaning no. So, what? Uh, I agree with you, Zach. Uh, <laughs> I guess a, a, a yes vote means you move to not approve this motion. Yes. And Commissioner Nash. Yes. That motion does not pass. Next item. You mean the motion pat the motion to remove to not right, approve. The, mo what, the, the motion, the motion to not pass. approve passes. Yeah. The motion to not approve passes. Thank you. 
All right. And the second item that was tabled, uh, we would like to remove this from the table. I would accept that a motion. So moved. Support. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Moved Wait a minute. by Commissioner Hughes, supported by Commissioner Mahoney. Uh, any discussion? Wait a minute. Our, what I need motion clarification. Is Does that HS mean that? HS 200818. Okay. So this means what you're doing is, is like throwing out everything that the Senior Activities Committee did for a month and a half. No, we just you removed really it from the table. Programs? Marcia, oh. we just removed this from the table. Mm -hmm. Now it's open for discussion. This discussion. The motion, the motion is to approve 38 senior millage. Oh, oh I'm just heard. I'm sorry. Okay. All motion right. Discussion. Okay. Quick discussion, Commissioner Nash. Yes, sir. If I may, um, if we go ahead and prove this with the understanding that this, our committee, the Senior Resources Committee or Millage Committee, will be looking at trying to find the money and reallocating the funds that we have available for other programs that are not granted here specifically. You know, we'd be adding money to some and maybe adding a, a whole new group for others so it's not this isn't the end of the grant period is what i'm trying to say right yeah we can use the and I, would, I would co-sign that i think that we co-sign that because we had that discussion in the pre-meeting and uh talk with miss moore about the um the fundings that's been left over um we do have plenty of funds to be able to offer uh, another grant award. So been talking with her about trying to make sure that we can make that happen as soon as we can. Ms. Moore, did you have any time schedule or date where that could happen? So it, so our true fiscal year ends September 30th. And part of that mm -hmm. um, estimate of the dollars that's remaining includes a projection through the end of September 30th. So I just checked with our finance supervisor. We have invoices through July. So there are two months, August and September, and, and August just ended. So, but August and September where there could still be expenditures, we could, you could award, <laughs> let's say 500, um, thousand possibly, um, but there's still, there's still, you know, there's still the unknown that people could just um, gear up and spend a huge portion of their mm -hmm. remaining balance. I, I think we heard from Chris Cross that they're not, they don't project to spend it through September 30th, um, but others may, and, and I don't know. So I would I would suggest that we get a good number before we move forward on that. Yeah. And it, right. once all the invoices are in and the, the year is over, then we have a good handle on how much money we can reallocate. So and I would agree. Oh, so I would agree. That, oh, I'm sorry. Commissioner Snyder. I would agree because you're looking at, unless I'm looking at the wrong thing, you're looking at the, all of the activities for next year. Well, I, and I think well, I, we're talking this this motion here. We've already budgeted for that's already set. What we're talking about is being able to offer a new grant uh, process so that it could be warded off of any excess fundings that we have over, which we we know we have some now. But I think we're just saying we don't have an exact number what that would be. Um, so do Miss um, Moore? Do you have a idea of when that amount might be settled we i think you know i think we have to do a better job telling our grantees that they have until you know the 15th of the following month to get their invoices in but but we you know we have not um had all of that communication um can I we would do say, that i'm sorry can we do that with them 
we we can do that in the future. It's, it's really hard to go back and say this is a requirement, but we can definitely call them. Um, Senior Resources is still our grants administrator, so they are the communicator of this. But we can definitely call and um, see if we can impose a October 30th deadline to get all invoices in. And that gives that gives them 30 days. It seems October to me that that has to be done. It seems to me that you can't you can't do this without that. Right. Commissioner Nash, may I Are you, add some? Um, I have a question that's, too. That's, hold on, hold on. Too. We can't, we'd have to have a motion to suspend the rules. We can't have outside. Unless anyone is interested in making that motion. Commissioner Nash, my concern was at the end is that there's a clear message to the senior millage committee that if this is passed, then we still need to go back and relook at the allocations. Now, the time frame is as Commissioner Snyder says, you got to know how much you got before you can give it out. Right, uh, right. So, right. no, I think we're all in agreement with that. We're just trying to figure out what that time frame was just so that yeah. you know agencies would know and understand, you know, this takes a little time, but it will be happening in the near future. Mr. Chairman. Oh, wait, I think I have a question oh, first. Oh, sorry. I'll be right. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you read to the, I'm a little confused because if you read uh, the last like three lines of number 18, it says, and to authorize the designated senior millage grants administrator, senior resources to proceed with the administration of the programs. So I'm a little confused about that because I thought we already decided to do an RFP for the administrator. But they're our current administrator until December 31st. Yeah, but this says through September 30th, 2021 on line oh, yeah. three. Uh, that, so, that is, yeah, that's the standard language that we've had in there. So that um, it would be to authorize our designated grants administrator. Maybe we don't name the name. Yeah, I would, I would, okay. I would agree with that. that. Would, yeah, thanks. Uh, okay. Mr. Right. Chair. Also, um, if Kristen Wade wants to speak, I will move to suspend the rules so she can. Um, hold on. Let me let me get the commissioners in first. Um, no, Commissioner sure. Foster was next. Well, I had. A, Thank uh, you, Mr. Chair. If, if we approve this, are we effectively eliminating the east side of the county, including the snow plowing program as we know it? I I couldn't answer that, but I, I'll tell you, I don't think we are, and that's another reason why we're looking at trying to get the uh, the new grant opportunities out there so that we could look at and maybe even uh, make some adjustments for what this one is not fully fulfilling. But if we agree to this one, Mr. Chair, what I'm saying is we are agreeing to eliminate the funding currently. So I, I can say, yes. I mean, if you agree to this, then you are obligating um, 1.661 million. So we would issue a purchase order in that amount and those dollars would be considered encumbered um, and not necessarily part of the available funds, but then, you know, at the end of the year, whatever is not expended, of course, is now part of the fund balance. Okay, so Ms. Moore, maybe you can answer. If we approve this, then are we eliminating the east side of the county, including the snow program as we know it? This, this motion does not include um, the, um, grant proposals from the east side that I think you're referencing or the snow plowing. Okay, thank you, ma'am. That's the answer I was looking for. Uh, uh, what area does matter, Ms. Mr. Chair? Go ahead, Commissioner Wilkins. Yes, are we talking about the snow plowing because it's time for the snow to fall again and we're no further now than we were last year. So what are we going to do about it? Are we going to do it or what? We don't have a contract for anyone to do it. Yeah, we do. 
uh, I can answer that partially. We we partially funded it, and and after we know how much money is left over from this grant year, we can allocate what's left over, and and uh, and I'm sure that that will be at the top of the list for what we look at at funding. Do you think it's enough? Because that last quote that I saw, fifteen thousand dollars is not going to be very much for snow plowing. Well, there's $2 million in unspent funds at this point. We don't know how much there will be after uh, all the invoices are in, but um, my guess is it'll be a substantial amount if there's $2 million Chair, right now. I, Chair, I think we're getting away from the motion here uh, and talking about the actual allocation. Well, I think, she, I think we're... we're we're along with the same motion also too, because there is a concern about those services that did not get awarded right. the amounts that they were deeming necessary. So there is some concern about voting for this motion due to that situation. But I think what Mrs. Uh, Commissioner Hubby Wright and, and, and myself are saying too, um, once we're able to see what funding we have left over or has not been spent, we're trying to bring that back as soon as we can. And I think that is a great opportunity to issue another grant opportunity so that these, anyone that missed this one can definitely try to get in on the next one. And I'm hoping, and I'm, and I'm hoping Ms. Moore would uh, continue to uh, uh, the administrator to get a date to get these things in so that we can get these numbers so that we can do another grant offer as soon as we possibly can. Uh, that way, maybe they won't miss a beat um, because as you heard with the snow plowing, they may have some excess left over so they could probably use that in October. Um, but I know they would need to get support right away to continue on for the other months. Right. So Mr. Chairman, can I ask you another question? Commissioner Foster, go right ahead. And saying that, would you give us then basically you're stating that you will ensure the snow plowing and the east side of the county get reinstated their funds? I think if that's a consensus from the board, and I think what I'm hearing, even Commissioner Skolnick wants some new services and some new ideas. And I think all of us are kind of wanting the same thing. Um, yeah, I, I think that if the board is supporting it, we should be able to do that with the funding that's going to be coming up in the next grant offer. But won't the next I know grant, I would support it. But wouldn't the next grant offer be kind of late for some of these? I mean, we we're doing 5,000 meals a year out here on this side of the county that's hinging on this decision. Well, and and I know that that and this gives us and I'll tell you this, this gives every agency that missed out a great opportunity to sit down with the administrator, the advisory board and everyone to talk about the reasons why anything may have been decided a certain way, because there was some communication that there was some concerns about the cost of different meals versus the cost of what meals are being done elsewhere. So I don't have all the intricacies on that, but I think it's good for those agencies to communicate now before that funding opportunity comes so that we can get things more in line so that it's more agreeable. So I guess my question to you, Mr. Chair, are you gonna ensure this comes back before this committee in a reasonable time? That's what we're working for right now. That's another reason why we had that discussion in the review. We wanted to try to get this back as soon as we possibly can, because if we do have those funders, we wanna expend them and we don't want them just sitting there when we got seniors that need services. Okay, that's all I needed was your word, sir. I'm, I'm wondering, um, Kathy, if we, if we could ask that the grantees submit their uh, their uh, invoices by the middle of October instead of the end, so that we can get funding out for snow plowing in a timely way. So yeah, I, I would definitely I have to talk with uh, Carla Benton, um, who is working with those grantees. Um, I, mm -hmm. I think they may have the capacity to do that, but some some may not. I I think though. I'm hearing two different things. One is sort of a another grant proposal process. No, 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 but, no, no. It's just supplemental. 
Okay, so then it's really it's really a review of some of those grants that's already been submitted and a reconsideration right. um, for funding because you know they've already went through that process. So it's a reconsideration for funding and or an option. You know what I had approached the um, the SEC committee chair, the senior activities committee chair about several months ago was the possibility of extending all of that funding, you know, through December 31st until we could get all of this figured out. So that, that's another option. Mr. Moore, Ms. Moore, could that actually become something we can do? This board has the power to do um, whatever they propose and pass. Mr. Chair, is that a feasibility? That depends on the motion makers. If the, they're I, to an I would think that would throw a wrench in all the funding. Uh, not if the- uh, We'd have to redo everything. Not if Ms. Moore- if that, that, different. that was Ms. Moore's original recommendation. That's not what she said. It just said, she said it was possible. Yep. The, so the original, this was before the SAC committee spent hours um, reviewing the, the proposals and, um, and making the recommendation. And so I was trying to get ahead of that um, and, and that didn't happen. So now this is the recommendation that the SAC committee has made. So now we have the other proposals that again, you know, we really, we really didn't set the parameters to say, um, definitely it has to ma match this. And so, you know, to me, um, there, there's some, we didn't, we didn't define it. And so then there's some judgment in, in a lot of those decisions. Um, so I'm saying now to be as fair as possible, some of those grantors, the, um, the, the townships and the um, snow removal, if we could at least award them a quarter of the funding until we get the process straightened out, um, it gives us a little more time to, to work this out. Which ones were you talking about? The snow removal and what? Um, we, would, we would have to pull up the, the prior month's um, awards and then you guys would would decide it um but it it, it would be um Eggleston township where there was um confusion or or just two different opinions on when that grant uh proposal was submitted um there is i believe casnovia but i'm not sure yes um, Cast where I think they asked for 18,000, they was awarded 1,000. Um, that's not, you know, that's that's not enough to provide one event, one meal event. Mr. Chairman, I, we're, 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 I think we've gotten off of what we're actually asked to do here. And I think we need to get back to the motion and either adopt it or turn it down. Not at all, Mr. Snyder. This is very important information. Agreed. This, I this, can offer some, the, with Casanova, uh, the price, the reason that they were awarded what they were, their price per meal was almost $19, which you could get a lobster roll at uh, right. Dockers for that. It was more than twice what any other meal site was, was char charging. So if they could maybe resubmit it at a at a more reasonable rate, then then you know that would you know certainly be a consideration. Uh, Eggleston Township, their grants had were date stamped. They were late. They were late, and and they have date stamps to prove it. So I don't know how how you so, do that, Madam <laughs> Commissioner. When somebody makes a mistake, like a pet, you take it out the backyard and shoot it the first time, or do you call them and say you made a mistake? Apparently, that's well, been um, for many times. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, I spoke out of turn. That's okay. I, I think this is the reason why I think it's better to have that, uh, uh, the, the review and the, and the, and the resubmission for the grants right. that 
did not receive what they wanted. Um, so that way, again, like I say, you can sit down and, and have a good discussion on how to make it work so that seniors are taken care of in that area. Um, and that's another reason why we wanna work hard, try to make sure we bring this back as soon as possible so that it can be some reallocation to those that didn't get that. But at this time, like Commissioner Sider said, uh, these have been approved. I don't think we're arguing on these. I think it's just the ones that have missed out or didn't get adequate funding, but that second opportunity will come back as soon as possible. Right. So I think- Commissioner Nash. With, <laughs> Commissioner Mahoney. Couple questions, a couple suggestions. First of all, I think the senior resources gets the invoices by the 10th of the month. Mm -hmm. 10th of the following month. So all of those invoices for September would be in October 10th is my understanding. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we allocated the money based on the resources that we had available, not resources that could be available or might be available. We had to make tough decisions based on the actual amount of money available. Uh, mm -hmm. And I know that disappoints some, but we do have some additional resources now from what has not been expended from the previous year. So there's possibility of reallocating as we do all the time, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, so I would suggest we move forward past this, get this process underway, and then have a discussion at the uh, senior millage committee when right. folks have a question to go forward and talk to them about uh you know what they would like to see done mr chairman one more time if i may commissioner foster but if we approve this and give this 1.661 as then allocated the ones that we're taking it from are out of the loop of this money again they have to restart from ground zero these are proven programs such as the snow plowing and these dinners in the east side of the county this money is now gone to another source what do we do we're not going to we're going to wait three to four months for us to decide what to do this is wrong thank you sir mr okay. chair i have a comment also commissioner larry so it seems as if some of these resources have been disproportionately uh, reallocated or, or spent to senior because they're going to senior resources because now they're a new grant recipient and that money was taken from a lot of these smaller grant recipients across the county. Uh, and Commissioner uh, Mahoney said that they, they only had so much money to spend, but it was disproportionately spent. Uh, does this also, does this impact the budget? My question, I guess, might be for uh, Mrs. Moore. Is this going to impact the local township allotment that they got uh, last year no. also? Um, we, no, that's, that's not the plan. Okay. So, but, it will. but, but so my question again is, I guess it's not really a question, but I feel that uh, not, not on this committee, but it seems like a lot of things were cut out and, and then a lot of that money went to senior resources who's technically not even supposed to be a grant recipient. They're the administrator. That is something that you have to consider as you make your vote when you move forward. Um, I think we have agreed to have this as a three month extension until such time as we can have. What we have to remember is these programs are ongoing. These programs um, in some ways cannot afford to stop. Otherwise seniors just are not getting services. So I think we've made a good compromise agreement to have this extended until December 31st. We also had them extended as a grant administrator oh. to keep things running smooth until such time as we can fulfill our opportunity to have a new grants administrator and then move forward without these conflicts. Um, but until then, we're kind of stuck in this situation. And if we just don't do anything, then we're, we're gonna be hurting the seniors that are looking for these resources uh, as they move forward. Um, I our best solution really is to approve 
and then also look at reallocation as we deem to get this uh, funding situation of what's left over uh, with a number so that we don't overextend ourselves either. Um, but I think it'll be a great opportunity for everyone to work together and also uh, have people reallocated money that may not have gotten opportunity this time. And we could probably do that by, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. Commissioner Hubby Wright. Yeah, I mean, if we get the invoices in early October, we could probably get the allocate the the reallocations taken care of by by November. So we're not talking about, um, and the grant area starts October 1. So we're not talking about a huge delay. Mr. Chair, <laughs> one more yes, question, sir. if I may. When did uh, Hold on, resources... Commissioner Larry. Commissioner Larry. Oh, I'm sorry. Commissioner Snyder had a question. My question is, if we adopt this, we're going to get a bunch of people sitting down, making determinations as to what's going to happen in the future. And I just think we're holding out a carrot that is going to drop off and not be eaten. And I disagree with doing it this way. Mr. Chair? Yes. So when did senior resources decide to become, I mean, at what point did they decide to become uh, a grant or a services provider as well as an administrator? Is that new? Uh, I can answer that. Uh, that was done before I was on the committee and I've been on the committee two years and they were asked by the chair, by Susie Hughes to, to provide that service and expand the number of people that could be could receive it. So they did not decide, they were asked to do it by the county board. Mr. Nash. Uh, right. <clears throat> Commissioner Mahoney. I would like to call the question. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, <laughs> the question has been called and we will move forward with a roll call. Commissioner Nash, is this on the motion to remove it or? Oops. No, this is, this is the original motion as it, as it is on the. Uh, motion to approve. This is 18. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We, just for a second here. There was a request to move senior uh, resources and just leave designated senior millage grants administrator. Right. Uh, right. Who originally made that motion to take it off the table? That was Commissioner Hughes, Chairman Hughes. Chairman Hughes, are you okay with that amendment? You know, this has gotten so confusing. I have no idea what's even going on. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but right now, I'm not even sure what we're voting on. So what we're, are you you're asking me motion, to take? The motion as it is presented was removed off the table by yourself in a second. There was a request to remove senior services that was advised by um, Kathy Moore to remove senior services of West Michigan so that it just states designated senior millage grants administrator because this could change and this goes all the way through to September. Yes, I agree with that. I okay. agree with that. And who was the second motion maker? I think it was Ken. Commissioner Mahoney. I think so. I'm okay, You're okay with, with that. Okay. So that has been agreed on. That's the motion moving forward. We're just going to remove that senior resources from the motion. Um, Charles, you, Commissioner you, you're using the term senior services. You said senior <laughs> services a number of times, but it's senior resources. Yeah, it's senior, res senior resources of West Michigan. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're moving forward with the vote. The question has been called. Mr. Javi Wright. Yes. Chairman Hughes. Yes. Commissioner Laring. No. Commissioner Mahoney. Yes. Commissioner Skolnick. Okay, yes means yes. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Snyder. No. Commissioner Wilkins. Yes. Commissioner Foster. No. Commissioner Nash. Yes. Six yes, three no. And that motion passes.
Next item. Uh, new business. Mr. Chairman, may I? Yes. I would like to make a motion to reinstate the east side, including Ravana, Castanovi, and Eggleston to their senior meals and reinstate the snow plowing program until the end of the year, at which time the new administrator can relook at it. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Um, could you restate that motion again, please? Yes, reinstate the east side of the colony, including Ravana, Casanova, and Eggleston for their meals and the snow plowing program until the end of the actual year, like we just did, until the new administrator can relook at them. Commissioner Nash, I have a question. Uh, that motion has been made and seconded. Commissioner Hughes. Who's the second? Commissioner Larry. I, I have two questions. One of them is I want to know if there's money there to pay for that. And second, I want to know if to the end of the year means to the end of our fiscal year or to the, to, to the new fiscal year or to the end of this calendar year. Hey, I, Mr. Chairman. And you want to clarify that motion? Yes, sir. That was to the end of the actual year, January 1, just like we did for senior resources. Okay. And is there enough money left in the grant to as cover you just, that? As you just heard Ms. Moore say, we, we do have $2 million setting, but we also will have extra money soon. These are programs too important to wait for soon. Let's, let's uh, Thank you very much. clarify that with Ms. Moore. Is the, are those funds available and able to cover those two? So it's my understanding that the motion is to award a quarter of the proposed funding. So yes, those dollars is available at this time. Are you are you All talking right. about unspent money, Kathy? Yes. We know that for sure. Yes, for based what? on you know, we, we only have two months left. So yes, and and then there was under expenses through COVID. Um, yes, I would say yes. Any other discussion? Commissioner, Commissioner Mahoney. Uh, we had just asked the senior millage committee to go and reallocate where it's appropriate. Now we're asking to ignore the senior millage committee exactly. and just go ahead and do it. Uh, I would suggest you leave it as it is, go through the senior millage committee. They will be able to reallocate based on real numbers, not just guesses and, and move forward. Uh, I, I don't want to diss the whole senior millage committee, which spent a lot of time trying to balance the budget, make sure we didn't overspend and then come along and possibly overspend, who knows? I would support that um, that idea. I, I think you know the senior activities committee uh, went through a very lengthy process, uh, and and I think we need to look at the grants. Maybe ask the grantees to uh, uh, revise some so that we can fund them better, or they are better grants. Um, but to so totally supersede the senior activities committee is a huge slap in the face and will not be well received. I, I totally disagree with that. Well, we, we're trying to get to the point where we're going to administer this grant internally. And I, I just, I, we don't have the facility to do that. And I think this is ridiculous. I, I would say that we're talking about an allocation to extend for three months. Um, and we've done that with a lot of question with, you know, an agency, you know, moments ago. Um, I think it might be fair for that time so that we can get our ducks in order. And uh, as we're keeping everyone else afloat until uh, we get this straight, I think we should be able to do that with these organizations also. Um, Commissioner Nash, I have another question them. when you're done. Commissioner Hughes. I, I, I happen to agree with you on that, and I, but I do have one other question. 
if mm -hmm. we do this and give the money to them now, will they be able to, in the three or four months that, that they're going to have this funding come in, will they be able to as issue a new proposal or a new request for funding? Because I know one of the issues was a municipality that did not get their grant in in time. Will they be able to submit another grant? So going forward after the end of this, they will be back in the rotation of funding? And I think those are things that we're going to have to hash out as we move forward. Right now, we're only talking about the, the snow plowing and the, um, the, the meal services in uh, uh, Rabat and, and Eggleston. So uh, I don't think we're talking about all the grants. I think we're just talking about those specifically. Okay, but are we asking them to be done at the first of the year then? Or are we asking them to? Mr. Chair, may I? No, we're just asking to extend them until December 31st so that we can get our new okay. administrator right. in. We don't have okay. to have a delay with them being reallocated because of, yeah. So I got it. It just thank keeps you. them running smooth so they don't have to worry about have, have a lapse. Either. Okay, thank right. you very much. Well said, Mr. Chairman. Any other discussion? All right, uh, roll call, Madam Clerk. Commissioner Skolnick. Yes. Commissioner Snyder. Oh. Commissioner Wilkins. Yes. Commissioner Foster. Yes. Commissioner Hubby Wright. No. Chairman Hughes. Yes. Commissioner Laring. Yes. Commissioner Mahoney. No. Commissioner Nash. Yes. Six yes, three no. All right, that motion passes. Oh, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and we talked about this in the previous meeting. Um, and I think what we just kind of did kind of um, I don't, I don't think we need to have a full discussion on that at this time. So I'm gonna remove that from the agenda. Uh, anyone else have any other new business? Mr. Chairman, may I? Commissioner Foster. I hate to be a pain, but I think we need to listen to our prosecutor and take his advice on looking at our committee. Um, no disrespect whatsoever to our commissioners mm -hmm. on there, but I do think we need to review that. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Any other new business? Uh, any public comment? Anyone in the public would like to have a comment? Excuse me, Charles, if I may. I, this is John. Commissioner Scott. I would just like to say that I support uh, uh, that last comment. Okay. Um, is there interest in trying to get a work session on this? I would think that'd be perfect, sir. Um, Mr. Administrator, do we have any room to be able to get a, a work session in? Yes, we'll add that to our calendar. I'll send us some dates out next Tuesday, by next Tuesday. Thank you. All right, moving on to public comment. Is anyone in public like to have a comment? I do not see any hands, Commissioner. There Nash. were two hands earlier. They might have decided not. One was Chris and one was Sonia. They may have... Decide not to comment though. I don't Chris see any Ross. right now. All right, I don't see any hands either. So we'll move to final board comments. Any? Oh, I'm sorry. Sonia just raised her hand. Yes. yes. Okay. Sonia, come on in. Hi, I have our senior coordinator um, here with me, Peggy Manzer, who would like to speak. Um, thank you. First of all, I want to let you know I wasn't able to. Um, be here at the beginning of the Zoom meeting because I was never notified of it until an hour before I had to go to work. So unfortunately, I haven't been able to be a part of what you know what has been discussing. So I appreciate the opportunity to you know speak up a little bit about that. Um, I guess one of the clarifications I have on what you voted on: you voted for the meals to continue in the East Side, including Ravenna and Casnovia. What about our transportation program as well? Um, we are shopping for 
<laughs> probably 13 to 20 individuals we're doing the actual shopping for them because they can't get out into the community because of um you know the covid restrictions and they're being the more vulnerable population so i've got volunteers that are going to shop for them um, we're doing this offer like $7,500 for the year. We've got $13,000 in in-kind revenue, you know, donations of a bus, donations of time that we're doing to provide, to get these people groceries. Um, and, and they have really appreciated because they can't get out. I don't think you realize this is not a question and answer. This is a comments only. Okay. All right. So, okay. So the comment is, is I would hope that, um, you know, the committees and the commissioners would consider uh, those things and even ask us as well. I, I, I said that we weren't even contacted. Um, we're just a township and, and nobody contacted us about even this meeting. It wasn't until I finally made an inquiry. So hopefully communication will be better as well. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I see another hand from Christopher Cross. Thank you, I'll be very brief. Um, I just wanna appreciate um, the work you guys are doing towards getting uh, funding to all the programs that need it. Um, I didn't really get, it. there was never a clear, I don't think it was addressed um, when I stated that the funding, we have additional funds of uh, 5,000 to help lawn care to the end of October because unfortunately grass doesn't stop growing just because the fiscal year is done. Um, so I don't know if I can get an answer on that, on how if that could be approved for the money we didn't use from last year to be brought over. Um, I'm not sure how exactly the process on that. I just wanted to bring that up one more time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I think Mr. Moore would be able to answer those questions later on. Um, I don't see any more hands. Does anyone else have any public comment? If not, we will move forward. Uh, final board comments? None. I'll accept the motion for adjournment. So moved. Apart. And we are adjourned. Next will be the courts and public safety and we'll start shortly.